Hey, it's Derek. I'm back out in the shop. A couple of people had questions on how the progress is coming along on the uh, slider that I'm motorizing. So I'm going to show you a little bit of detail of some of the things. Uh, still working to get a full-blown video once I get everything fabricated and all my electronics wired up. So let's take a look at it. As for my electronics, I'm running two 9-volt batteries, ran in a series. Those hook directly into the precision speed controller that then has a connection through this three-wire to go out to my Servo City servo controller. That pot right here sends the signal back to the servo controller and then out of the servo controller, but underneath here we can see, I have two wires that run up to my motor. I am actually running two motors. So one lead off of here goes to this motor here. And then the other lead runs all the way down my tube and hooks up on the other motor. Um, that's the current configuration for everything and I am going to put limit switches on the ends um, with the diode so that way I can run once it hits the end it'll go ahead and turn around and uh, I'll be able to run the opposite direction as soon as I turn my pot the opposite way. Okay I had tried previously to do a 90 degree connection um, to where the motor would run this way turn 90 degrees and then have a shaft that comes up to my pulley. Uh, I am currently looking for a new set of gears. I was using 90 degree driver adapters for a drill and I am needing a new, uh, new gear that has a little bit more precision to it and has more teeth. Um, when it's all said and done, I have fabricated an aluminum shield that is going to go over my pulley and cover up my end there. Um, so that's how the end is. Right now, I just have another piece of aluminum bar uh, angle here that I fabricated. These metal plates here are built from Servo City and I purchased them and they match up to all their precision gear motors um, and holds it just perfect. My current setup is just the motor. I have just a little bit of space there um, with a thrust washer that's right in between there and then I have my pulley. So it's pretty basic setup that way. I wish it wasn't hanging so far below. Um, so that way I could lay my, my slider a little bit flatter, but it's not all that bad. I used it the last weekend to shoot a couple of churches and stuff, and it worked out just fine. So let's check out the operation real quick. When I am all said and done, I will put uh, all my electronics in this box here and be able to uh, to have a remote controlled pot. And that's what this big wiry mess is here. Um, so if you have any other questions, please keep the emails coming and um, would love to answer them. So that's pretty much my five foot 2080 rail from IGUS. Um, I did have a question about the pulley. So we'll go into the pulley size that Servo City has and uh, I'll measure them up and show them to you. Okay, this is the 2080 rail, which means that it has 20 millimeter rails that are 80 millimeters apart. So if you have the 1660 rail, you will have that much, so going from one, um, is what your your distance from one rail to the other rail is going to be um, and the actual pulley itself needs so reading there 37 and a half millimeters is pretty much what you're looking at for the uh, almost 38 millimeters um, is what you're looking at for the clearance of that uh, the larger pulley from servo city so i don't have a 1660 rail um, but that is the the measurement so you can go ahead and put a measure on yours um, I have seen other people put this on a plate a little bit further out and then have a bearing that kind of pulls the timing belt back together uh, so that way you can run a bigger pulley on the smaller uh, rail and then I just went ahead and tapped into my blocks and then I ran in uh, to go ahead and have my timing belt and then I took a piece of timing belt and clipped it so that way I could fill the teeth um, and run the screw through it and it would all hook up pretty tight and snug. 
So that's it for now. Uh, the questions coming, and I will keep the information coming on how the, this build's going. Thanks for watching.